Yo, what up? It's your boy NJJ Stone, aka Black Gritty, and I'm sitting here with Jason, aka IQMZ Sports, on the Twitter. Say something, people, Jason. What's going on, everybody? I'm announcing my commitment to the University of Georgia. Georgia. We need to learn their fight song. Yeah, like, it's the Eagles song now. <laughs> it is the Eagles Apparently. song. So, uh, NFL draft 2023 is done. And uh, I was upset after I was upset during the draft. We we streamed it live. Yeah, like if you want to be one of the few people that actually watched it live, I was very upset with the pick. Even though I know it's the right pick and the way it fell to us, everything is correct about it. Uh, I just did not like all the red flags of the player. And then right after they picked him, a a huge red flag came back on top of it. And I'm like, see, I tried to tell y'all. I told y'all. You know, when a coach doesn't want to vouch for you, like we discussed, that's what hurt me the most. These guys want nothing more than recruit people and say, look, we sent 17 guys from Georgia to the NFL. Come play for us. And they say, coach, but you trashed your player. Mm -hmm. You told teams not to draft him. If I mess up, are you going to do that to me? And they didn't care. That's how much they wanted to let people know that they didn't like this kid. But, you know, they didn't just do that for Jalen Carter. They also talk bad about Keely Ringo. Then you have last year, you have N'Kobe Dean falls mysteriously. Like yeah. something with the Georgia program, they're happy to use guys to win the championship. Doesn't seem like they're so happy to boost guys, though, to get drafted, which is completely opposite of how it should be. It's it, That is a weird thing. Right. Uh, so Smith and N'Kobe also had injuries. Oh, yes, for the sure. Same kind I know, of, different story. The, but... same, the same kind of injury, pectoral injury. So yeah. I, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, Carter also had a whole tidal wave for sure. of just things. I'm not trying own. to excuse it. I'm just saying uh, yeah. it's just weird. Like they used all these guys that were stars in these championship games, but then they're hard to coach. Yeah. So like, are they? Yeah. <laughs> like, cause, cause you know, <laughs> they don't. They don't look really hard. So yeah. <laughs> uh, before we go through that, uh, the rest of the draft, I'm happy with, even though it seems like he literally played NCAA championship and then drafted yeah. guys for Madden. Like that's literally what it feels like to me. Like yeah. back in the day when we used to have to like m- create the players to bring up to the draft, <laughs> you knew who that to take. That was my favorite. Oh man, it was great. Cause you'd rock out a team. Like if yep. you were Penn state or you were Never. Michigan, you, no, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I love that. With you. <laughs> so if you were Michigan yeah. and you just had your team win the championship, you'd like, Hey, import I'm, the draft class, yeah, move it up. Exactly. <laughs> I'm taking my whole squad. So, yeah. you know, that's what how he seemed to do right now it almost seemed like the eagles forgot to scout but just checked out the championship game we're like that, write some names down that's all they did i've done that for some fantasy drafts i forgot to prep for it i forgot the draft was that day you're like well, i was going to remember a couple names here and so it's funny for me uh disclosure again because the people that don't know i don't watch college football last right. year was the first year i actually started watching more college football uh you know the whole kids not getting paid kind of thing always irking me but now that now they can so i watch and but i always watch the playoffs. I always watch yeah. all the bowl games because those are the top names that are going to come out. At least I'll know a little bit about them. So this is actually something that I would have done because yeah. this is one of the teams yeah. that I've watched the most of like, oh. because they're in a lot of the championship yeah. games. Bowl games. So I knew everybody that they're picking. So mm-hmm. that, that gave me a little bit of like, ah, I know that guy. Um, so we're going to go down the list of everyone. But it's to me, I, I told you and I've said it a couple times already, but it's like, OK, Either I just got the whole Fab Five team on my team and we are ready to rock and roll, right. or I took LeBron James's high school squad. And I got like <laughs> LeBron James and four other dudes that should be doing something else with their life. But we'll find I mean, out. If one of them is equivalent to LeBron James, though, that's kind of. <laughs> I, mean, I don't yeah, care about the rest of that's them. True. Like, and, so that's true. Let's be honest. That's like, true. <laughs> and I mean, and not for nothing, his friends are out here doing yeah. <laughs> they're doing good things in the yeah. world. He's he's brought them up. He's built them up. So, just not athletic. Just not <laughs> athletic. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, if they got a LeBron James, I'm cool with that. Yeah. A 20 year Hall of Fame yeah. all time player. Yeah. Then, you know, you, hey, great job. Exactly. <laughs> so if you got a LeBron James, <laughs> it's all good. Shut up. Stop making a point about my point. Making my point sound like a point. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, obviously we talked about Carter, you know, you watch the f- highlight reel on him. He's just, he's a, a, a man among boys. He was yeah. one handed lifting linemen, offensive centers and guards off their feet. My favorite play was the sack he had against LSU where he just picked the quarterback up. He yeah. never tackled him. He just picked him up and just stopped the whole play. And he was like, well, that's over. And there was, <laughs> there was, that was a great play. And there's so many plays where he literally swims through. Yeah. And hits the quarterback with his swinging arm, yeah. and they just drop. Like 
I mean, not they were trying to stand, but his force from just one arm was taking dudes to the ground. Yeah. He didn't have to tackle many quarterbacks to sack them. He literally would just swing and swipe upon them, you know, going after the ball, and they'd fall backwards. Right. His force is impressive. What was so. crazy, last year after uh, Walker went first and Davis went, what, 13th to the Eagles, everybody knew that Carter was actually the best guy on that line. Yeah. By a lot. It wasn't even yeah. like people were like, well, he might be. They're like, no, no. The best guy didn't even come out of school yet. Yeah, so that's that's great. That was our first round pick. Um, you know, Bijan or bust. Everybody, Bijan or bust. But I, yeah. I, it's stupid you, Falcons. The stupid Falcons doing stupid Falcons things. They got everything on offense, but a quarterback and the offensive <laughs> line. They're building the opposite of what the Eagles do. <laughs> Eagles build inside out. Falcons are building outside in, it, and it doesn't work. The Eagles. I mean, the Eagles. The Falcons have seemed like they always play football to sell jerseys. Yes, like I they agree. just yeah. want to sell jerseys, and that's it. And it's weird to me. Uh, because they should be taking this philosophy. You're in Atlanta. You should be taking every Georgia player available because you already got a built-in fan base. Yeah. How he's out here slanging jerseys is dang himself. Yeah. <laughs> we are Georgia North now, yeah. so he's got all those fans out here like, man, I'm going to be an Eagles fan. Yeah. And Nobody likes being a Falcons fan anyway. <laughs> Nobody likes being a Falcons fan. Just crazy. You know the NFL is a copycat league, and you would, you know the Eagles have been successful for a long time. They don't have all the championships the Chiefs do well, and all that, or whatever, you know, but and the to, Chiefs build the same way, though. And to be fair, Howie has sucked in the draft, and he's done yeah, a 180. Sure. He's done a 180 on his mindset. He literally he, – he did what the fans wanted. Like, take players from big-name yes, teams. But his philosophy of getting linemen and building it on the lines first has oh. never changed. He's oh, no, no. missed a bunch of picks, yeah, but yeah. it's never changed. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and again, building in through the trenches. Yep. and all that jazz and then going out and getting veterans like a wide receiver and things like that it's, it's good so yeah. uh let's move through uh nolan smith that was the player i would have been happy to get at 10 if carter and robinson were gone with again we talked about it's not like we're uh busting hours in the film room yeah uh smith to me on quick glance and from what i know of him reminds me of micah parsons i don't know that he'll be productive like micah parsons as a pass rusher let's hope but S he plays that kind of style. He's actually better against the run. He's better against the run, and he is. I I agree with the Michael Parsons comp. Uh, that's why I wanted him so badly. And same thing that you said. Like if we couldn't get the other two, he was somebody that I wanted because he looks like a Reddit clone, even yeah. even more so than Parsons. Like he's like a mixture in between because he he's better at the run yeah. than the pass. But his speed with Hassan on the outside would just. Yeah. Oh, good. And so a team get, captain, which yeah, is just always a good thing, too. Yes. So to get them both is incredible. And I will say that as far as the, the concerns about Carter, Smith is a leader. N'Kobe Dean. Dean was a leader. Uh, and so it, and he looked up to Davis, whether Davis is a leader for an entire team. I don't know. But Carter, like, has looked yeah. up to Davis forever as like an older brother type deal. Yeah. So that that's really good. Uh, Tyler, Did you see the picture of them in the Eagles uh, uh, complex today? Yeah, Davis just makes Carter look like a little guy. It's it's funny, it's like wild. A, yeah, it's funny. He makes everybody look like they're his kid. Like yeah. <laughs> when he's in the Sixers game, I'm like, who let him outside? Like right. why is this guy outside? Yeah. Um. Then, uh, in the second round, they took an offensive lineman, uh, Tyler Steen from Bama. Yeah. Yeah. Big name school. Big name school. He was a Vanderbilt kid that transferred to Bama for one year to play tackle there. Uh, he didn't let up a sack in 500 snaps, they said. So, And he's going to move to guard because he has short arms. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not compared to me, but he, just in yeah. you know, football. I mean, he's going to probably be a day one starter at right guard. That's my guess. He's going to be a day one starter. His footwork is immaculate. Yeah. I watched a lot of you know the highlight reels, and I watched like one game on him. His footwork is impeccable, and his arms are short, but he's got a nice punch. Uh, his first punch seems to stunt people. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, he doesn't have the reach to push off, but if he gets you in there tight, I expect a lot of pancakes out of him. And I think he could play tackle in a jam, which the Eagles always love guys that can be uh, offensive yes. line personal. Yes, um, and, he, and he has uh, played tackle some. Uh, a lot. He yeah. played there the whole time for yeah, them. So, I'm just going to slide in now. Um, that's that's great for us. And that uh, doesn't make me mad that Jurgens isn't going to be the right guard, by the way. I'm totally no. fine with him being just the next center. And, and, and it's, it's not a wasted pick or it's, anything. It's my favorite thing when they're like, oh, take him. I, when, when we take linemen, we need a, a roster of linemen because that is what the Eagles do. The yes. Eagles have quarterbacks galore, linemen galore, and we defensively, they run in waves. So I, I like that pick, second round. Mm -hmm. Um, again, short arms, but everything else about him yep. is good. Third round, uh, again, a lot of trades and moves like that. The whole thing with um, 
our trash coach. I feel so vindicated for thinking he was a piece of shit. Yeah, he is a real piece way. of shit. The oh Cardinals won't even let him talk because he's such a piece of shit. Yeah, so <laughs> we got we got a compensation swap pick, and they picked up Sidney Brown in the third round, number 66 overall. I think this guy is not going to be Brian Dawkins. That was the most wild <laughs> meme I've ever <laughs> like, seen. Like, whoa, stop whoa, it. Whoa. Yeah. I, I'm an Eagles fan, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, like, I bleed hey. green, yeah. you know, all no. the <laughs> Eagle Nation, whatever, all the hashtags you want to put upon me. Yeah. But just pump the rings. But I will say he is a ball hawk. He's got a nose for the ball. And for somebody who's 5'10", which isn't my favorite jam of height, we talked about He's that. He's a little short. He is a little short. He has a hit stick, and he is not afraid to use it. He hit sticks, but he also misses a lot of tackles. Oh, yeah. You got to clean that up a little bit. Can't always hit stick. It's not Madden. You it, can't just always go full man, hit stick. Look, let's put it this way. I'd rather you be a hit stick than guy to hit, yeah. and miss than a dude who doesn't want to tackle. Yeah. So I think him and Blankenship will end up being the safeties. Yeah. Out there, he have one athletic one, and Blankenship's uh, not super athletic. No. but he did okay last year. I like Blankenship a lot. Blank yeah. Blankenship is hungry. Blankenship is smart. Yep. So he, his his mind has helped him overcome the physical deficiencies. Right. And from the little we know of the Eagles D coordinator, the safeties play that kind of too deep. So it's, there's not a lot going yeah. on back there for them to do. I assume they're going to copy and paste the playbook from last year. I think it'll be slightly adjusted, though. I yeah. hope. So we'll, we'll see. Well, let's hope. Um, <laughs> I, I hope that after – Three months by December, the line on defense is gelled, yeah. and their physical force and their wave of power yes. has made the, the defense change. Regardless this, of whether the play calling changes, the front force should change. This D coordinator supposedly uses more stunts and twists than Gannon did in his uh, scheme, which is really just not a scheme, just a play, yeah. and that's it. Not at all. So then we go to the fourth round. They trade up. They trade up uh, and got the cornerback. Keely Ringo. Keely Ringo. Keely. They're just sticking to the bit at that They're point. Right, man? They're just like, hey, man, we got a skit going. Now, we got to roll with it. Now, I will tell you this because we talked about that. Yeah. He is my kind of cornerback. Yes. 6'2", big, physical. He sticks to guys like glue. So when when he's playing physical wide receivers yeah. and they're hand fighting and they're checking off, he doesn't move. Yep. Like his step for step is step for step. Like it doesn't matter if you push off on him. He's like, okay, cool. He'll run through that push off. And his physical presence is what I like in a cornerback. Yeah, so little quick receivers give him lots of trouble, though. He doesn't switch directions real quick laterally. No. And uh, he's only 20. He's, on, he's, he's only... been starting at Georgia since he was 18 yeah. and had the touchdown, the interception for a touchdown ceiling uh, play in the championship game. Yes. And so a big time player, yep. the moment doesn't phase him. Yes, small players bother him, but I'm not worried about that. I, I he hope he ended up being a safety for them also, they said. Well, to start, yeah, until yep. we phase out the old dudes. Like I assume both right. of them are going to be filling in that spot in the nickel just to get them on the field Hopefully. Uh, and see what they do. I mean, you have to at this point because you also another... know that people are going to get nicked up and dinged up. Oh, you assume um, Slay and Bradbury both missed a little bit of time this year just because of their age. Yeah. I mean, well, not. well, Slay, Slay's, I don't know. Slay's kind of an Iron Man. He doesn't really miss games like That's that. True. Uh, but I will say the thing I really like about him is in his defense, tell me that you're going to do something different, like man up on somebody. Mm -hmm. Like you go stick to him. So, again, to what your point is about the smaller speed guy, I don't want somebody switching off on him and putting him right. in a bad position. I tell you, Go follow Hopkins right, follow all him. game. Yes. Go follow Metcalf all yeah. game. And that's where his strength will shine through. Um, so I only get stronger at 20. Uh, he's only he's got room only to grow. 20 years old and I, I, I really like him. You know, I don't, I don't care what school he went to. I'm yeah. going to put that out there. It doesn't matter what school he went to. It's the way he plays. As a fourth round pick, if he does anything, that's just, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was supposed to go in the second, he, according to, you know, whatever. Mocks are the worst things in Consensus. America. Consensus. <laughs> worst, worst things in America. So your boy, Tanner McKee, worst pick of the draft, sixth for the round, one eighty-eight <laughs> overall. What are you talking about? Not, not a good quarterback. You don't like Tanner? No. Not what don't, don't you like about Tanner? Well, he's slow. He wasn't that good. Their offense at Stanford wasn't good. Uh, he turns the ball over. You know. Do, do Do you know what he does? This good about to turn the ball over. You know what he does? I don't. Ball gets out of his hands quick. Okay, that's good. He <laughs> he throws. His to his receiver, trusting his receiver. Yeah. 
I'm fine so, with drafting a quarterback. So, I just didn't it, think he was that good. Yeah, I mean, you should always draft a quarterback. I, to be honest, yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you his good points since yeah. you, since you said his bad points. <laughs> I'm telling you, he gets rid of the ball quick, which us leads to interceptions, but it also leads <laughs> to his wide receivers being able to make plays on the ball before the defense is I mean, ready. Hopefully, he's just traded at some point. You know, AJ yeah. Philly style. Shut up! I'm telling <laughs> you, this guy is great. Brock he's Purdy. gonna be good. The next Brock Purdy, he might be. Yeah, you know I mean, and the two plays he gets to play this year, <laughs> I assume that he's gonna be doing all right. And then in the seventh round, um, how do you say his last name? Oj Ojum O Ojumo from Texas. Yeah, D lineman from Texas that everybody again, whatever pretend list you want to look at, had him going in the fifth round. Yeah, he fell to the seventh. Yeah, he's more of a power rusher. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of finesse moves. No, he just straight bull rushes. Yeah, all all of his highlights are just him caving people. He's got in. long ass arms. Yes, so he, he he caves in the line and he he reaches for quarterbacks. They thought he, he had a, a lot of forced fumbles because yeah. of his arm length. He was supposed to be a, a D tackle, but they said in the NFL he should be a three four end, which I hope the Eagles when they do their little switch formation stuff. Yeah, kind of and, like Milton Williams, but not as fast and agile. And so with Carter. Ojimo and uh, Smith mix with what we already have. The rotation should be that's eight deep now, and that's not even including Derek Barnett, who's coming back from injury. Oh God, are we? Is he's not under contract though? Did they resign yeah, him? Yeah, he was a two year deal last year. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if he'll be on the team anymore, but I mean, they still roll eight deep on the line. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I assume he's not going to reference two year deal. So yeah, it, it was a great draft. I mean, getting A's after the draft is cool and it's fun and I'm excited about it, but we, nobody knows. No, I, I just want for three not, years and, we won't know. And and not to poke the bear at anybody, oh. I went and looked at uh, the last like five drafts mm -hmm. in the first round, and there are so many people that give A's for stuff. Not even give A's. There's so many names that were picked that everybody was so hyped on, and I don't even remember them. Right, I don't even know them. You know, the funniest draft grade one ever was the Seahawks one, the year they drafted Russell Wilson. Mm. They got an F for that, yep. draft, for taking him in the third yep. round. They got an F. It worked out okay for them. So we'll wrap this up with who are the top. You want to talk about the trade or no? What trade? The DeAndre Swift trade also. Just, oh, yeah. That's I part mean, of the draft. It is part of the draft. Right. <laughs> He's a Philly kid. Philly kid. He's basically Miles Sanders light. A little bit better at receiving out of the backfield, but gets injured often, misses holes just as much as Sanders does, and yeah. also has the ability to just break them off. Yeah. He, he has better football IQ than Sanders. I'll give yes, him that. Yes, for sure. Uh, hey, remember Rashad so. Penny I put on Facebook? They can just alternate weeks when they're playing. Rest <laughs> up next week. You're yeah. off. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, I texted you that too. I'm like, it doesn't yeah. matter like, if one of them's hurt because the yeah. other one will be there to play. So, But the cool um, thing is now all four of their running backs cost less than what Miles Sanders makes in Carolina, which yeah. is wild. And uh, so who are your top three teams that won a draft? Out, not San Eagles. Not Eagles won a draft. Steelers. Okay. Had a good draft. The Giants had a good draft. Okay. And the Seahawks. And the Seahawks. Okay. Yeah. So I have the Titans. Mm -hmm. I have the Seahawks. And I have the Panthers. Yep. So for me, the Titans had to. No, not the Titans. The Texans. Okay. The Texans. See, I hate the it the Texans did. See, they're trying to rebuild culture. Yeah. So they get guys that are quality guys and 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 good guys, and I I like Demar uh, Demico. So I assume that whatever he wanted, he got. Right. And so he was so happy about that. He's building something there. So I feel like that's a good. Anytime they paid a you lot was all just to move back up to they, get the three. They paid a lot, but they had a lot to pay. They they had all that stuff. That first rounder next year could be a crucial pick. But they that team was fighting last year yep. and lost. Like eight games, games by three points and two points. So maybe they're right, not, right. And so maybe it turns around. And so you get your guys. And I, I just like when an organization who has been known as trash pandas and below average go out and say, whoo, yeah, two, go three, for boom, go, go do, for it. Know what we want, go get it. If it mm -hmm. fails, like as we talked about, it fails. But at least they went for it. Yeah. The Panthers look like they're set up. They do. They look like they're set up. Yeah. They, they got the running back. And normally when you get a quarterback at, at that place, you sucked last year. They they got that via trade. It's not like they were the, the worst team in the league. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like the Panthers are – and they're in a terrible division. Yeah. So they're set to, like, move up a little bit. You know what I mean? Even if they win, like, nine games or like that, they can win the division. 
Um, so I li- I like Frank Wright. So, you know, get rid of DJ Moore hurts, but yes. that was the cost of moving up. Exactly, and you know they they drafted another wide receiver that everybody seemed to love for yeah. them. So we'll see about that. Uh, you you like the Giants draft? I did. The Giants added a uh, getting Jalen Hyatt in the third round, another okay. deep receiver was a good pick. Yeah. Uh, I forget. Oh, the they got a good corner in the first round, right? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Good. You, you you like the uh, you like what the Cowboys did? Cowboys. Uh, they had that cool moment. The Cowboys had a decent draft. The, yeah. The Cowboys they didn't get like. So my problem with the Cowboys is. Out of all the things that they don't do right, yeah. they draft very well. Yes, they do. And people talk trash about them. No, they draft really well. Yeah. Now, you know, they draft the running back of four, but guess what? Zeke was a beast for them for three, four years yeah. in a row. Right. And he was just, they were dominant. Like, again, their problem is coaching. They can't get past yes. the owner not allowing a good coach to come in there and win him a championship. But everything else they do organizationally wise right. is really good. Like, they see talent, they get mm-hmm. talent. So, I assume anybody they draft is going to be pretty good. Like Smith from Michigan's really brought in to help stop the Eagles sneak game. Like that's basically <laughs> yeah. like a counter for that. Yeah. Good luck. So, uh, right. Like that's not going to work. Yeah, but, but they had a good draft. That moment they had where uh, their head scout is a uh, Deuce Vaughn's dad. Yeah. And they had him call him. That was a pretty cool moment. Yeah, that was nice. Sucked that it was the Cowboys. Yeah, but it, right? that, <laughs> that was really nice. You know what yeah. I mean? And he's crying, and 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 uh, Deuce is actually. He's good. He's a good running back. He's yeah. he's tiny. He reminds me of a Sproles yeah. type of guy. Same school and, too. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And oh, he. You're right. Yes, because he right. broke all Sproles records, right. and he broke uh, somebody else's records went there too. Somebody else really good. So, <clears throat> uh, I think that's good for them. But but again, they usually draft well. Yeah. It's just that their coach is always poor, and uh, so I'm not. Packers so worried had about a him. weird draft. Detroit had a weird draft, but they kind of flipped it from being a bad draft to a pretty good draft after different picks fell their way. Yeah. But their draft was weird. Yeah, it was really weird. I didn't like what the Jets did. No, I don't like what all. the Jets did. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't like Washington taking a 165 pound <laughs> corner back in the first round. Though everyone says he, I mean, he's a good corner. I just don't see him matching up with the receivers in the NFC East. Yeah, and they had some. They could have picked somebody else other than him too. Yeah. That pick, I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Gonzalez was there. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would have said Gonzalez. I'm like, what? New England had a weird draft, even though they got Gonzalez. They drafted a punter and a kicker. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish we drafted a punter. We got I, a punter, though. Huh? They signed a punter after the draft. Did they? Kid from Kansas State. Okay. He was a kicker and punter there. Oh, yeah. Who he else? won the who, punter award, the Ray Guy award. We didn't talk about it. Who else did they get after on our free agency? Oh, Eli Ricks was the big name that they yeah, got. The Eli corner Ricks. from Alabama. That He's an LSU transfer. He left when Brian Kelly came because he didn't like Brian Kelly. Went to Alabama and struggled in that scheme. Just didn't. It wasn't for him. Yeah. And then everybody, he just became a problem. Then everybody thought he should stay, and he left school a year early, and yeah, a whole mess. That's why he went undrafted because just the whole hubbub. He didn't allow a touchdown last year for his yeah. quote unquote struggles. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I saw that too. Uh, He's got long ass arms. Yeah, I, I I was gonna say I don't know what his height is or anything like that, but when I, when I watched him play, he was deflecting everything. Yeah, like his his mm-hmm. swing radius yeah. is massive. He like, was a guy that you know the. Drafts that come out like there's already drafts for next year. The yeah, court, the, you know, which everybody knows those are be they're even yeah. more BS than mock drafts. Yeah, but the, he was supposed to be a first rounder all year, and then went undrafted. So, so he's going to make the team. He has potential. The, yeah, he's going to make the team. They're not going to let him go. I mean, they let the other Alabama kid, Job, last year. The Eagles signed as an undrafted free agent. He made the team as a special teamer. Yeah. So, and I know that they're looking to replace the cornerback. So having somebody like him, yeah. Again, I I just like his hands. Uh, yeah. I don't know about everything else, but his hands, he, he deflected everything. He didn't catch, he didn't make a lot of interceptions, right. but his, you know, I, everybody can't be a ball hawk. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he, I won interceptions really bad, but that, that's, that's why, why we got, that way. Th- yeah, that's why we got Sidney Brown. That's why we got Ringo, because yeah. they love to catch the ball. They love getting interceptions. So that's pretty much it. Howie, Howie did up. Uh, I've been saying for forever. GMs were mad that he was getting put, hyped up. So uh, let's talk about that real quick. The problem with that is one, Howie's one of the longest tenured GMs. Right. So you know his name. Correct. So what what they don't what they really don't like is when anybody gets credit because what happens is Howie Roseman's getting all this credit. Why? Because he's got a young head coach who is a horrible speaker and no <laughs> one can think of him as some kind of mastermind. Right. When you think of the Seahawks and picking, who do you think right, of? Pete Carroll. Pete right. Carroll. When you right. when you think about the 49ers, right. you think of Lynch right. and Shanahan yeah. like as a marriage. Yes. So 
Howie stands alone. Yeah. And the name stands out because it's Howie Roseman. And Howie's bold. He and, does bold things. And he makes big trades. He, ma he makes good moves. And he was banished for a while. Yeah. So he's got a long t story t yes. tale that the, <laughs> the league knows. So it's like a darling thing when they yeah. want to speak about Howie. But it's just funny because uh, I saw that report and people were mad. I'm like, you're mad because you don't have game recognition. Right, like they were everybody was mad because he made that trade for the running back from Detroit. Like anybody could have done that. And Just anybody could and anybody could have saw it coming. Right. We talked about we talked about that where I was like, right. I want to get Eckler or somebody make a trade for a player. And the we second, listed off right the second that, Detroit drafted Gibbs yeah. at 12. It was like everybody knew. Available? Yeah, because why? Why right. else? Like, <laughs> like so everybody knew that. Right. You didn't make the call because they got him for nothing. Yeah. And he gets to come on to Philly, get that home cooking. His, old, see, his uh, old school girlfriend going to come back and run for the yards. On the Greenlight podcast, great. Mike Mayock was on there getting interviewed by Chris Long. And he was asking him, what GM is the one when you are you get that call and you're like, oh, shit, I got to be, you know, I got to be on it. And he was like, man, how he calls you and he's just so nice. And he just all of a sudden, and all of a sudden you hang up and you're like, what? What just happened? <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> You're like, did we make a trade? Like, yeah. I think you did. Like, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> that, that's 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 part of Howie's charm. That's what yeah. he's good at. And I I did not like Howie. And I, again, he's really changed how, his story, man. He, oh, he did. And again, I don't care what nobody say when I talk trash. Bring it up about me talk trash about Howie. I told everybody two years ago they were like, uh, Howie Roseman. I'm like, wait till 2024 because I knew he had all these draft picks saved yeah, up in two yeah. first rounds. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, let me see what he does with them other picks. Yep. So he's had two. Classic drafts back to back and on paper. Let's yeah, put we'll it that see, way. Because yeah, even last year, everybody was all yeah. jumping out of the roof and they were adequate. All three guys didn't really do anything. The first three picks didn't not really a, do anything. Not at all. Not Doesn't at mean all. they stink. Just nope. means they didn't help. Uh, but, uh, well, they better start doing something now because this is the year. It's Georgia or bust around here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, blackgreedy.com, there's merch out. I'm wearing my ND Streets uh, hat. Uh, right now is like the last one of the last times I can get it because it's raining outside. But, you know, there's T-shirts out there. There's hoodies. Uh, go get yourself something in these streets. Jason is always uh, sharing stuff on the Facebook and tweeting out classic stuff. Follow him on the Internet because he's like he's like a Schefter bot. Like a chef just says and something, paste. copy, copy and, paste. and paste. Yeah, you know what I mean, throwing a little personality <laughs> on our end, what we think's going on. You yeah. know what I mean? And it is what it is. I mean, I don't have inside information, so it's best I got is no, a copy no. and paste. I got we we got uh, uh, out outside the window information. We listening yeah. on the front porch information. I well, do always credit them though. I'm not yeah. a you yeah. know I don't copy yeah. it and paste it like it's ours. I know <laughs> I do. I want to steal everything. I'm gonna just lie. Be like yo, and then when we get caught and somebody like yo, you never you were wrong. I'm like yo, that's blame that on chef, man. I, I deleted the tweet, baby. Yeah, I don't know I mean, nothing about it, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the draft. If you're yeah. not an Eagles fan, yeah. less guest presenters at the draft, man. Yeah. Just make the picks. Less, oh god, less, less. The, less and stuff. I know that they got to get this money, but the draft, the opening round is too long. Yeah, too long. It's way too long. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We're out. All right.